All right, so the simple blessing goes something like this. It's just a simple blessing you do for yourself every day. Dear God, please bless and charge me with positive life force energy to give me complete healing to my physical being, my etheric being, my astral being, my spiritual being, my mental being, my emotional being. I give you thanks. In Jesus' name, Amen. So just that little prayer every day saying that for yourself that's going to help you i suggest that you do it if you're sick many many times a day you can even uh, you know bless ask that you be if you have a certain sickness you can say you know dear god please bless this this cancer that's within my body with positive life force energy so that the, i will be rid of the cancer and i will have healing to all my beings in jesus name amen but when you're doing this God is light and you are a light being you're, you're you're we always see is the physical and we can't see what's you know in other dimensions but your light and the enemy they know this they they know how to attack to make your light weaker and weaker and weaker or you will get sick and get diseases or di different things like that and the way it's going to happen is from your own thoughts and your own negative emotions whenever you think negatively your light becomes weak Whenever you think positive thoughts, joy-filled thoughts, love-filled thoughts, your light is bright. And it's hard for you to get sick, hard for you to get cancer, hard for you to get different diseases. So this is going to be crucial is saying, asking for yourself to be blessed and charged with positive energy. That's going to heal your light. Um, also to bless those who are attacking you. Um, a simple blessing that I would say for them is... Dear God, please bless and charge those who are attacking me with positive life force energy so all evil and negativity will come out of them. They will leave the forces of darkness and come into the light. And we pray and bind Satan that he will not interfere with them leaving. In Jesus' name, amen. And I say that, and you know, when I say that for them, they hate it. You know, they, they hate it because they know it works. This. Our main job while we're here is one, we're going to help each other out, but we want to destroy Satan's kingdom. The more damage you do to his kingdom, the less they can do to us. So by blessing and charging them with positive energy so that they'll be brought to repentance, that's going to destroy Satan's kingdom. You're going to, you're going to make his kingdom weaker and weaker. You know, it's, it's already nothing compared to our kingdom, but uh, you know, that's our job. So, the power of prayer and blessing has changed my life. Let me tell you some other ways that I've been using it to protect myself. You can, you can bless and charge with positive energy the weapons that they're using against you. And, for example, they're using the chemtrail technology on me. They're, they spray chemtrails on me 24-7. Wherever I go, it doesn't matter. The 100 airplanes spraying chemtrails on me everywhere I go. So, what I started saying is once I started seeing that this literally worked actually let me start before that before i got to the chemtrails they were attacking me through my computer through your electronic devices your cell phone through your tv all these things um which we know as targeted people that yes they have the ability to target you through these devices you have the ability to make those devices transmute positive energy instead of negative energy and simply you would say something like this let's say if you're saying it to your laptop dear God please bless this laptop with positive life force energy so that it will no longer emit negative detrimental energies towards me I give you thanks in Jesus name amen just something as simple as that you're just asking God to change what it's from negative energy to positive energy and he will do it. And once I did that and I saw, wow, it worked because I didn't feel the pain any longer. <clears throat> I knew that this was this was something here. So uh, you you have the power to bless positive. You know, when you're blessing, all you're doing when you're when you're blessing something with positive energy. God is positive energy and he's light and he's imparting his light onto whatever it is that you're asking for a blessing for. You know, whatever it is, you're saying, bless the laptop, bless the TV, bless whatever. He's just imp imparting his light on what you're requesting his light to be imparted on. So, I saw that that it worked with the electronic devices. They can no longer attack me through the electronic devices. Then I said, okay, 
I'm gonna take this a step further. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it to the chemtrails that they're they're spraying on me. So when I go outside because they 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 spray me so heavily all the time, I begin to have chest pains from from being out there. This immediately stopped when I started blessing the chemtrails. I said, "Dear God, please bless." All chemtrails being sprayed above my home and around my home and across the whole earth with positive life force energy so that it will give me complete healing to my physical being, my etheric being, my astral being, my spiritual being, my mental being, my emotional being, and all my beings. In Jesus' name I give you thanks and I pray, Amen. When I started doing that, I mean, you literally my air quality changed you know I could all of a sudden I'm having normal air quality and I saw wow you know this is everything is really in our control you know once you figure it out and you take the fear away from them they have absolutely nothing the only thing that they have on their side is fear they you know, they're gonna use that to control you to manipulate you and your faith is going to be tested and um, you know my faith is still tested daily and I have to stay in the word, I have to just stay positive. You know, the most important thing is always thinking positive thoughts because that's really what what really is, is going to keep you alive and safe is positive thinking. And, and the word of God is going to help you and teach you how to do that. Now let me tell you how things can change. Let's say you bless your, your computer or the chemtrails or whatever, but now all of a sudden something made you mad, you're really upset, you're thinking negative emotions, negative thoughts. Now, by with your negativity, you can reverse whatever you have blessed to be positive. So that laptop that you blessed, that was that was you being used to attack you, the effects can reverse. So what you have to do is you have to, and and all at the same time, the enemy. It's you know it's it's about blessing. You know we use blessings, they use curses. So they can try to try to curse whatever you blessed. And so it's, it, is a, it has to be a constant battle. It's either you, you're the one with your negative emotion and the thoughts, you're reversing the blessing, or they could be doing it. So when you feel it, you feel, okay, the, the, the blessing's not working anymore, you have to say the blessing again. And the, and the simple blessing process, it goes like this. You, you address God first, okay? You state what you want to be done, and you thank God, and then... Amen. You know, in Jesus' name, amen. It's, it's that simple. You just, you address God. You say, hey, God, please, you know, Lord, do this. Uh, this is what I want done. And it's your intention. If your, in your intentions, the way the blessings work is your, God promises that he will heal us and he will protect us. That's in his word. So if you're, whatever you're asking for is within those lines, either for your healing or for your protection, that, that, is your intent is to heal yourself or to protect yourself it's gonna work every time but it can't be a negative intention it can't be something bad that that's not you know has nothing to do with what I'm talking about here so you know this this power of, of prayer and blessing it has really 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 changed my life and that's why I want to share it with y'all let me share this from you from Genesis 12 verse 3 I will bless those who bless you and whoever curses you I will curse and all the peoples of the earth will be blessed through you. So, blessing is, when I started reading the Bible and I started going to the internet and just putting in blessing and trying to find Bible verses, it's everywhere. I mean, it's almost in every single book of the Bible, you know, from the, from, uh, from the you know, Old Testament to the New Testament. And now that I'm using it in my life and it's just changing my life, you know, it, it really is something. And you have to... You know, your, your house is, um, wherever you sleep, wherever you stand, wherever you, you live your life, you're leaving your energy print there. You're living, your thoughts and emotions are so powerful, you, you just really, you don't understand. And that's why they're using these things. That they're, the harassment is, is just to make you always negative and sad. Because if they know that they can keep you in that state of mind, that's how you get sick. That's how you get diseases and cancers and different things like that. It's your mind, your mind, you're doing it to yourself. So, positive, joy-filled, love-filled thoughts. You know, love is going to cast all that out. And, um, you know, God has been so good to me. You know, He's kept me safe. He's protected me. And prayer, you know, that's where really most, most importantly started for me is, is spiritual warfare prayers. Those are...